welcome to Jojo Beats with Me, the place where I, Jolene, or Jojo, to share with you things that I am loving and enjoying. And today's video is going to be a hair setting video, um, showing you how I tend to set my hair on the average day, and then my brush out, and then this hair do, um, and why I'm doing this hair do. Um, so if you're interested, stick around. I'm also trying out a new hairspray in this video, so if you want to skip towards this time mark to see my kind of um, the first use of hairspray and then how it actually works throughout the day, you can jump to that. It is the Love, Beauty, and Planet Coconut and White Jasmine hairspray. You can see my first reactions to using it. Um, yeah, if you jump to that time. The first thing I do um, after washing my hair is I dry it. Um, the back of my hair takes the longest to dry, so the front of my hair is already pretty dry. Yeah, logic. Good job. I'm just going to work on patting it, trying to get as much of the water out as I can. I find that if my hair, especially in the back, is is still pretty damp when I set it. The curls tend to never actually set in properly. They tend to be very loose if they show up at all. Uh, and they're the first to fall. The setting lotion I've been using is Lotta Body. I actually have mixed it in with water um, inside of an old travel perfume bottle from Bath and Body Works. I just found that it was easiest and cheapest and recycling so good for the environment and using the bottle more before I discard it. Uh, right now I don't have a lot left in the bottle but it should be enough to do this one set with my hair. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually apply this especially to the back of my hair that's already really damp that way the setting lotion will be in there um, already. different techniques um, of both like just spraying a little bit on it when it's still kind of damp just all over the hair and then on specific areas like taking this section of hair and then spraying a lot of body twists especially like the ends of the hair and brushing through to make sure it's all throughout the hair and then I take my curling roller these. They're like the pillow rollers. They have foam and then a wire on the inside. Um, and I take this front section. I just wrap around towards the front and then roll up under. That is my front bangs fringe section. I repeat that around my head in sections about this size, just like the size of my first knuckle, uh, my nail to knuckle. Uh, so half an inch, half an inch sections around my head, brushing, and if I'm feeling like um, setting lotion with the even spraying setting lotion. If the area is a bit too dry, I have another bottle that has water in it and I will spray that section with water. But as I just showered and my hair is drying, I don't really think I need to add too much more water to my hair as, like I said, sections of it are still a little damp. I tend to 
to just always roll under. Just keep rolling under. I do this front section because the back of my hair is still damp. I work in like sections instead of rows. You need to make sure that the ends of your hair are um, underneath the hair that's being rolled um, because it just helps to ensure that there is a, a nice finish with the brush up and that the hair doesn't get massively tangled. Um, I find that that helps to um, create less pain during brush up and less hair loss. I apologize if there's any background noise. The kitchen is on the other side of this wall. My hair right now is still pretty damp, so I'm going to let it dry a little bit more and then I will do a time lapse, which is basically the, the same the same concept of rolling under small sections of hair. I'll do a time lapse of that and then I will show you how I tie my hair scarf around my head to get ready to sleep. Okay, so got all of the rollers in. I actually have two extra, which normally I use all of them. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow looks like. Um, I have this hair scarf. This was my grandmother's. I inherited it from her. And basically what I do to protect my hair at night is I put it over my head like this and I tie it I tie it like that, I tuck this back over. I leave the top, the first uh, roller that I put in out so that it's not being pulled by the, this. So I leave it out front um, and then I tie into a bow and tuck the ends inside the scarf like that. And then I'm ready to just chill out and then go to bed and we'll see what it looks like in the morning good morning so i just finished doing my makeup kind of i think i forgot to put my skirt on oh um i am going to undo all of my rollers So once you have all of your rollers out, I just run my fingers through my hair to like, to separate the curls. The lighting's also different because just this time of day it's better for me to sit in my window rather than my chair which is over in that corner. And then I start brushing. I do like a very over the top brush, the top part, just to see how it's sitting. And then I go and I start with the bottom curls. Just brushing under. And I sometimes just brush the hair over my hand. That helps it to get all the curls to form into a shape together. It kind of just, you work with what your hair is doing. So, that I kinda like that. so now move on to Hairspray. This is one that I am trying. It's my new one. Uh, it is the Love Beauty Planet Coconut Milk and White Jasmine Hairspray Powered by Air. I'm excited to try this out. We'll see how it works today. I uh, will put in a little video clip towards the end of the day on how it actually is working on my on for my hair and how my hair is holding. My hair usually falls in general just because of like natural humidity, but. It usually falls. Okay. Just... 
it smells great so we'll see how this works um because i think it's more of a water based it has water in it yeah the first ingredient was water we'll see if it actually holds the curls in or if it just um causes them to fall out we'll see i have found that shall see so far I like the finish my hair right now feels great but it hasn't dried yet so we're gonna we're just gonna see how that works so basically I'm gonna be putting this around the hair tucking the ends of it into the hair net and then I am going to use bobby pins and I'm going to pin That way it doesn't slip off. I'm also going to add a bobby pin. So hopefully this will also help to keep some of the curls for later in the day. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm going to be traveling a little bit today. So I have a couple different hair scarves. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go through. I think I'm going to do the blue one. Taking my hair scarf, start at the top of the head. Right there. It's about two inches back from um, the hairline. Wrap it under over the hair underneath the hair that's in the hair net. I find it's a lot easier to tie knots underneath the hair when the base of the hair is in the hair net because the hair doesn't get caught in the knot. Also, it's, yeah, it's a lot more comfortable that way. And then I'm going to take the ends of the scarf, wrap them back up to the side, and tie it in a knot. Got these two, these two things which you can then tuck into the rest of the scarf. Very easy. And there it is, my hair for today. Okay, so I am back. It is about five o'clock. It's been a busy day. Um, and so far, it's been holding up rather nicely. I don't have any flyaways, so that's a really good thing. Um, I'll check back in again before I, I'm not, as I'm getting ready for bed. All right, so it is 8.06 now and I am getting ready to go to bed so I still have to take my makeup off but I thought before I did that I would um, show you where the curls are at right now um, they haven't fallen down too much I think that's partially thanks to the fact that I um, I had them in a hairnet but um, they look pretty good the hairspray did a pretty good job of keeping down flyaways so overall, I am happy with how the hairspray is turning out. For a first try, it's pretty good. I'm really happy. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me over here on YouTube. If you can't wait till the next video to see my lovely face, you can go over to my Instagram, follow that, it's Judge Beautifully Me. Um, here is an example of the stuff that I post. Um, it's a lot of vintage inspired stuff, so if you like that, Go follow that and I will see you over there um and then I will also see you back here hopefully in my next video I'm still working on a schedule figuring it out okay thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon